We have a very wide uh, diversity of student backgrounds, student learning styles, and so it's really important to be able to adapt to those so that we can teach to these different groups of students. And so being able to innovate through things like the Davis Foundation Grant gives us the chance to try these things out to help these different kinds of students to learn. Although it's, it, it's just recently started, I think we've already taken terrific strides using the the opportunities provided to us by the Davis Foundation funding to meet our goals for student success and to connect them to hands that enrich curriculum as well as uh, uh, significant research opportunities. First topic we, we dealt with was uh, on the swine flu. Well, what kind of organism causes the flu? Is it a virus or is it a bacteria? What's the difference anyway between a virus and a bacteria? What happens to an organism when uh, it had previously affected only one species, that is the swine, but now is suddenly able to infect another species, humans? What is that biological process? And what kinds of uh, medicine might be available to help us uh, ameliorate the effect of such infections? What is a vaccine anyway? The overall mission, which is to enhance uh, the um, instruction on our campus ultimately with the goal of enhancing student success. The establishment of uh, a couple of pilot uh, freshman success communities. And this is something which brings students together as cohorts and they go through the curriculum together which allows them to establish very significant relationships with each other. The culmination of it for me was when uh, the students uh, were called upon to do an oral presentation in class. I never saw students a few weeks into a freshman class so successfully develop a presentation, but more, more noticeably was the atmosphere in the room, the collaborative, the, the feeling that we want our colleagues to be successful and really active listening that was going on in the room. The atmosphere was terrific. The students are comfortable with each other. They're comfortable with their instructors. They raise their hand. They participate very actively in discussion in a way which is uh, I think very directly related to the fact that they are involved in a community. The fact that I'm in the learning community made it okay for me because like we have such a small group of people so now we're able to like help each other like study, do the work that we need to do, even the lab, pre-lab assignments. The, the course is very heavily dependent on a wiki so the st which, which provides the students an online venue for active collaboration because they can edit each other's work and they can post and they can post a discussion. I thought college was going to be like a big group of people and just how you're working by yourself trying to learn. But with a community, I feel um, we're like a group of 30 and you know, I know them well and if I don't get something, usually someone else does. So they um, help me out in whatever thing I'm lacking in and I can help them whatever they're lacking in. Well, it's really been a pleasure to work with, with Dean Grzanowski because he's really interested in this instructional uh, innovation and he's been extremely supportive of a variety of things that I worked on, going to summer institutes and the projects that I'm working on has been very supportive of making changes in the course and, and uh, innovations in the kind of ways that we teach and, and supporting those, so it's been great. All the other instructors in biology or chemistry or calculus or pre-calculus, they're all saying, I'm noticing a difference with you. I'm noticing a difference with your students. Whatever there is, is really something you, different in that class, class and it's very, and very positive. Order to be prepared as a science student, you have to do great in the curriculum and we're going to work to provide the best possible curriculum. But also you need to participate in everything that UMass Boston can offer. as a research university which can offer the kinds of laboratory experiences, internship experiences, all sorts of experiences which, which broaden, round out that education and make the students well prepared and competitive for the next step.